Gottfried Leibniz was a famous mathematician from Germany. His life was filled with many failures and tragedies, but his greatest achievement was the co-invention of modern calculus with Newton and perhaps his greatest strategy, the feud between them. Leibniz traveled to London in 1673 to visit the Royal Society. He didn't meet Newton there, however. He met one of his publishers, Collins. Collins knew of unpublished documents of calculus that Newton had created in the late 1660s. Leibniz joined the Royal Society and returned to France to work hard on his development of calculus. As Leibniz worked on his new findings, he sent his ideas to Collins, and Collins would send Leibniz the latest mathematical ideas being brought up by the Royal Society. Newton was persuaded to write to Leibniz to help answer questions. Newton sent him two letters. The first was 11 pages and the second was 19 pages. These were Newton's discoveries and therefore claiming that he made these discoveries years before Leibniz. Then in October 1684, Leibniz discovered his first paper on calculus, Acta Eruditorum. He published his second paper in 1686, but had no idea of the repercussions of these actions. Newton was completely arrogant and convinced that he could be the only interpreter of divine knowledge. Newton's only reaction was to attack and undermine Leibniz. Both Leibniz and Newton have followers. Leibniz's outspoken supporters were mainly Johann and Jacques Bernoulli, who used his calculus for mechanical problems. The few went on and off until Newton hit a hot streak. In 1703, he became president of the Royal Society. In 1704, he published Optics, and in 1705, he was knighted by Queen Anne, the first scientist to be. Leibniz wrote angrily to the Royal Society. Newton then made a committee to investigate the affair because he could not allow his fellows squabbling. The committee was made up of only Newton's supporters. The report was written after 50 days and mostly written in Newton's handwriting. The report was issued around Europe and Britain and soon broke Leibniz's resolve. The report stated, for which reasons we reckon Mr. Newton the first inventor and are of the opinion and Mr. Keel in asserting the same has been in no way injured to Mr. Leibniz. Leibniz was put to shame and died a poor man and his funeral was only attended by a former secretary. Newton received a stately funeral and is most well known for the creation of calculus. However, Leibniz's notation is widely used today. What you hadn't done that! Come on! <laughs> This is calculus. Newton's calculus. You're nothing, just a trickster. I am a mathematician and Newton's friend. Keo. Thank you, thank you, guys. Wow. Leibniz.
We make a pretty good team after all, don't we? <laughs> and that is how John Keel, Sir Isaac Newton, and all of his supporters ended the calculus war with Leibniz and put him to shame. And so Newton went down in history as the creator of calculus. Derp, 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 derp.